Hi, Corey Schumann, Gold Rush Expeditions here again. We're in Utah today at the Pink Lady Mine. This is a, a very interesting mine. It's a fluorite mine, which some of you might say fluorite. Where's the value in fluorite? It's not gold, it's not silver. I don't care about fluorite. Well, fluorite's interesting as it's had a lot of uses over the years, but it has two values that might make you think it over a little more than gold sometimes. One, specimen. Rock collectors, rock hounds, they love fluorite. Good fluorite, purple, green, pink fluorite is amazing. It gets great prices as long as it has really great fluorescence. So the other aspect of this fluorite is the gem quality aspect of it. We've seen recently, you can almost make more with gems than you can with gold sometimes. Fluorite being one of those items that you can take specimens, polish them up, turn them into necklaces, earrings, a variety of things, and really make a pretty penny out of it. But there's really some cool stuff that we've seen out there. We're gonna go down in the mines, kind of show you what's going on here, kind of show you why we've got this big massive pit here, and show you some really high quality gem fluorite, and some purple fluorite, and who knows what else. So let's head down in the mine. Okay, so we're up in an upper attic of the Pink Lady here, and I'm just gonna take a quick second. We talk a lot about reading the mines, reading the landscape where you're at, trying to figure out what's gone on, who's made money, how they've made money. This right here, what you can see here, is some beefy, beefy rail. It actually comes all the way outside, as you can see too. And then you can see in here, somebody's torn it up and probably scrapped it, most likely. Um, most of these fluorite mines ended up running in the, you know, the, your 30s, 40s, sometimes in the 50s, 60s. Not too terribly much past then. And so, you know, when, when people were looking for money back in the day, they would look for rail that they could scrap. Uh, but seeing rail shows you that you got a pretty good size operation. Uh, usually more than just a couple of guys because a couple of guys can run a board down the center of their mine and run a wheelbarrow out. If you're running track, you're running a lot more than you know a two, 300 pound load. You're up running probably a couple ton loads. If you're running a big track like this, you're running a lot of it because it's more efficient for you to spend the money to run track, go onto your mine, than it is just to do it by hand. So, something to keep an eye for. Big track, usually is a bigger mine, a bigger operation, they're making some money. So, we're still here in the upper attic of the Pink Lady. Um, as we're starting to get a little more feel here, what we've got right here is basically an ore dumping station. This, I know for a fact, goes down three or four different levels. We're gonna access those levels later. How do I know this? Is it magic? No, it's not magic. We've been in this mine before. We've actually watched this mine for quite a while and it just recently became available and we jumped on it because it's an awesome mine. But anyway, uh, this rail that you can see comes up, pretty much terminates right up here. And then you have a few of the little metal pieces here, kind of hard to see, but this is where the car would have come up, dumped, boom and then it would have gone out. That was their fastest, quickest, easiest way of shipping. Um, why they exactly did that, I don't know. Maybe they had a motor up here that was more convenient. Then they had a motor that was underground, or maybe they're hitting more things up here. There's a lot of structure that's going on here. There's a, another level above us that you can see pushes into an ore bin. There's a ton of beautiful fluoride in here. It's purple, it fluoresces all out, purple, orange, white. It's just awesome. This is probably one of the more inaccessible levels. It's probably the best word for it. I only say that knowing what's down below that we can get to a lot of stuff right here. We basically just got this shaft and then we know where all the other levels are. There's kind of a collapse that shoots off back here. But the main thing we're looking at is some of the massive beautiful fluorite samples. So we'll get some video of that, we'll get some pictures of that and we'll move on to some of the lower edits. This is uh, what we refer to as an ore bin because that's pretty much what it is, but it's inside the mine, not outside the mine. These you usually see on the outside of where they've made a big stope. The stope being where they've taken a bunch of ore and shoved it all out. Why do you see this? Because miners are smart and they use gravity for the mining. So they would find an area that they wanted to get some ore out of, which would usually be way up there. And then instead of trying to bring ore 
up or around or dig it up from the ground, they would start breaking it out with an area below that it could all fall into. That would be this little bin. It would all funnel into this little bin and then they could take their little ore car, put it right here, and it would fill with ore, hence ore car. That's what I call them, ore cars. And then scoot, out they would go, scoot back it would come, fill with ore, scoot, out it would go, and so on and so on and so on. This is a pretty big ore bin, so there's probably a rather substantial scope up there. We know from what we've seen that there's a lot of holes all over the place. And we've also noticed that there looks like there's another level above us. We're going to go check that out right now and we'll be up there and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're deeper into the Pink Lady now and we found what we really wanted to see. This is what I remember from eight or nine years ago when we were here, of being in here. It's kind of like being in a big massive geode. If you like gems, if you like fluorite, if you like any of that kind of stuff, this is definitely a mine you want to look at. This right here you can see that's your nice purple fluorite. You can see it follows up here, but you can see this is kind of veiny. This is the good stuff that you really want to get out. It chases all the way along here. There's been a hole cut up here, obviously for pulling more fluorite. And then this whole wall is all just bands of calcite with different minerals running through it. I mean, if you could stand in a geode, this is kind of what it would look like. Now, I'm going to get Jess to drop the lights here. Nobody freak out, nobody cry. Okay, so now we're going to see how well this shows up on video. You can see here, I know I'm a, I'm a little bit colorblind, so maybe this looks different to you guys, but it's kind of an orangish tinge that the fluorescing gets here. So we're going to follow it up. Let's see how this whole band fluoresces all the way through. bits come through up here. That's how you're going to find what you're looking for. Now ideally, when you're playing in here, getting your gem quality fluorite, if you can play with just your black lights, it will be really good to get good stuff out. So this is the kind of hammer that you're probably going to want because you want to be very precision and just take out some rock around it because you don't want to take out your fluorite. Yeah, it comes out very easy. This is not, fluorite doesn't form like gold does, so it's not hard quartz rock. It's not gonna fall down on you. You probably wanna take some precautions, but this is your good stuff right here. So you can see here, it's gotten a little darker. You've got a little more iron coming on. You also hit right where the really rich fluorine comes right below this. There's also a lot of it right up here in the iron, so. We're getting better. We're going farther down into the mine and the quality of fluorine, fluorite is getting better. It's not fluorine, it's not fluoride, fluorite, fluorite. So we're gonna continue, but you can tell there's been a lot of work done here. This is almost one of those sites that you can almost do like a pay for dig where uh, people can come out and pick out their own gem quality little fluorites, make their own little, uh, necklaces, whatever, fun little stuff. The color of this stuff is awesome. So, very cool, we're gonna move on. So we're gonna wrap up the rest of the underground here at the Pink Lady. Somebody's gonna get a really amazing site. This is a super cool mine. I'm Corey Schumann for Gold Rush Expeditions and we'll see you at the next site. Sometimes when you see us talk about roads that are rough and really hairy, um, we kind of question what you should bring, maybe an ATV, maybe a full-size truck. The road up to the Pink Lady is really pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, sometimes I'm not paying attention and then I end up with what we have here. I hit one big rock and it sounded like shit and it felt like shit and we got out of the truck and you can see my big dent here. So. Look how awesome it looks from the outside. Yeah. Beautiful, right?
that freaking sucks. Watch where you're going when you're off road. Don't drive like me. Oh, and there it is. Big ugly dent. Poor Tundy.